Facts, tips, and fishing trips with Captain Ronnie Black. Chartering the Alabama Gulf Coast. Always remember safety while boating. Hello, I'm Captain Ronnie Black. Uh, I want to talk a little bit about cleaning bull reds that we caught off Dixie Bar here today. Uh, these bull reds are pretty tough to clean, but uh, I recommend starting off with a little bit stronger knife than a fillet knife. The scales are really thick on these bull reds. Uh, if you use a knife like a standard fillet knife, it's just a little bit too flimsy. It's hard to get through them scales at first, and uh, this knife may even be a little bit flimsy, uh, but it's just a lot, lot better than the standard fillet knife that I've got at this time. Common names for the bull reds, red spot tail, red drum, and poison rogue. Now what we're doing right here is uh, cutting, making the first incision right back back through uh, the side fin, then we want to follow around uh, the white of the belly, uh, curved, curving like uh, the white curves on the bottom end, then finishing back through to the backbone. And uh, as you notice, I bent the knife a little bit, even that stern knife bent a little bit. These drum are pretty hard to uh, clean, the scales are, are pretty thick, they're, they're equivalent to a guitar pick, uh, a stern guitar pick. Now once you do that, you can make your fillet, start your fillet, cut, cutting your fillet out, uh, making a small incision along the backbone, then following up to back to the head again. You don't have to make it through all the way the first time. You can make shallow cuts. Uh, there is a, a rib cage that's in the back end of the fish towards the belly, up towards the front. You'll just be able to cut to it. Then you'll spin your fish as I'm doing right now. And then you'll fill up in there, and you can fill that rib cage. You just want to go on the inside of the rib cage towards your flay, make an incision down at a, a short angle, uh, maybe six inches back, uh, where you fill the rib cage. And this will allow you to remove the flay without having to uh, try to try to cut that rib cage out and then removing it later. Uh, it's just one technique that I like. Okay, occasionally more than one spot can be found on a red drum, and rarely no spots are present. Some have very beautiful markings as this one in the following picture. Uh, this, this bull red was called off of Dixie Bar. It's got some beautiful markings on it. Uh, rarely they have that, that type of marking or no marking at all. All right, what we're going to do here, I'm removing the flays uh, from the skin and the scales. I left the scales on this fish, uh, but I was going to remove the flays on it. So. What no, what no need in, in scaling the fish. Whenever uh, I remove my flays from these, these bull reds, I, I go shallow with my first cut and then I follow through with a second cut normally. Uh, you can do it either way. If you can get all the way through there on one cut, you can do that. Uh, I just, I, I prefer to start a shallow cut. Red drum are aggressive feeders. At one year of age, they average over 13 inches. At their second year, they are 21 inches. Blue crabs is a big part of their diet, and they love the blue crabs. They they do crush their their food with their mouth. They'll pick up the blue crabs. They'll crush it. A lot of times, they'll swim around with it for a while, and kind of keep that in mind when you're fishing for these blue uh, big bull reds. They they uh, a lot of times your reel starts snatching a little bit, and if you grab a hold of it and you try to set the hook, you're just uh, a lot of times going to pull your bait out of the uh, the fish's mouth. You want to you want to let give them a minute. If he decides to just grab a hold of it and and swim around for a minute, and then you know crushing it and 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 killing his bait before he decides to swallow it. You got to give him a little bit of time and. Uh, once that drag starts screaming on that reel, you'll you'll know he's hooked up on it, and then a lot of times they, they'll let you know. Facts, tips, and fishing trips with Captain Ronnie Black. Chartering the Alabama Gulf Coast. Always remember safety while boating. Real action, real fun, real adventure.